I am the worst YouTuber ever. Well, that is true. In terms of uh, upload and timeliness. But I'm working on it. Hi again, everybody. Tyler here. And it's so good to have all of you finally watching another video of mine. Sorry that I haven't uploaded in about a week. I've just been so busy. And I am getting tired of that as an excuse. So I'm currently making... Pro uh, I'm currently making... Uh, a system to hopefully remember what to uh, cover every day. I will hopefully, I will try my best to upload a video every day. Just keep the grind going, you know? Anyway, put the, put the thumb drive down. There we go. Anyway, tonight we're going to talk about WrestleMania Night 2 because, frankly, I never covered it. Even though you already probably already know what happened. Fuck it, let's just... Let's get it on! So, the first match of the night was the weirdest match of the night, I do declare. It was Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. The, fe the theme of this match is quite simple. Randy Orton burned Bray, or Bray Wyatt alive, and Bray Wyatt came back to get his revenge. After months and months and months and months and months and months and months, and months of, tor of mental torturing of Randy Orton. Here's the difference. Bray Wyatt failed to get to win the match. He comes back, and he loses the match. He has lost multiple matches at WrestleMania. Weird. Anyway, according to my notes, Randy Orton deaf Bray Wyatt. And I don't know what... The, weird, the weirdest part about, about, the, about that night was the fact that I have no idea... How the match ended because it was a whole visual thing and everyone was losing their minds going, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Apparently, like, Alexa Bliss, who's Bray Wyatt's um, friend, I, I, I don't know how else to call her, basically decided her face decided to melt and black goo started coming out of her face. I don't know. That's what, what Culture Wrestling told me because I couldn't quite tell. It was kind of crazy. Anyway... Uh, Randy Orton, Def Bray Wyatt in one of the weirdest matches of the night. Hang on, let me yell at my phone. Stop! Yeah, that's right, children. You gotta yell at your Google speakers so they'll stop. And then we get, then we move on from uh, from that. The two we have, we have Nia Jax and Tamina. There's nobody, Mina, taking on uh, Shayna Baszler and. Uh, Nia, uh, uh, excuse me, Jesus, uh, Tamina and, hold on, oh, Natalia and Tamina taking on Jax and, uh, Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. Here's the thing, it was a clean finish, a great match. I didn't know who to root for, because I haven't really been following it, but good match. Nia, uh, Nia Jax defeated, uh, and not, basically the, 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 the champions retain their title. So there's that. Congratulations. I really don't know where this is going to go. If it's going to go anywhere else, I guess we'll see. Uh, this was another weird match. The next one was Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens, which wasn't weird. Which wasn't the weird part. It was the best part because those two can put on a fucking clinic. You want to watch a good wrestling? Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens have great wrestling. Hook it up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go all day long. Let's go. The weird part was Logan Paul, YouTuber Logan Paul, was. Uh, watching the match as the guest of Sami Zayn, because apparently in the storyline, Sami Zayn thinks everyone is out to get him. It's a conspiracy, and Logan Paul is willing to help him handle that conspiracy and watch his documentary on how everyone is out to get him. Really weird, really weirdly written. I haven't been following the storyline, so I don't really know all that much. But Logan Paul's out there. He is doing what he does, whatever, good for him. Um, Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens defeated Sami Zayn, and then Logan Paul 
got Stone Cold Stunnered for his troubles. Because that's fun. Alright. Uh, the next match was Matt Riddle versus Sheamus. And I love Matt Riddle. Like if, I, I've watched a lot of Matt Riddle's matches. He's literally like that hippy-dippy bro, dude. Bro. So, he's taken on Sheamus, who's like, no nonsense, I don't give a, I'm an Irishman, I don't give a fuck, I'm just gonna whoop your ass. Uh, Sh Riddle is honestly like, bro. Sheamus is like, oi, no, I'm gonna whoop your ass, bro. So, anyway, the match is great, uh, Sheamus defeats Riddle, and yeah, congrats, we have a new US champion, uh, Sheamus. Congratulations. Next, we have the Intercontinental Championship match between Big E and Apollo Crews. Great match. Basically, it was a... Uh, I think they called it a drum fight. And basically, that was basically cues for to take kendo sticks and beat each other like drums. Both opponents did it. It was violent. It was fun. It was noisy. And then, right as Big E was about to beat Apollo Crews, a very massive gentleman, Dabakato, I knew that it was Dabakato, came out and literally destroyed uh, Big E. <sighs> Allowing Apollo Crews to get his his Intercontinental Champion, the very, I think it's his first Intercontinental Championship win, so congratulations to Apollo Crews on that. And then they did a look back at Saturday Night, which my video on from a week ago covers Saturday Night, uh, you, uh, Saturday Night, so there is that. Uh, you can watch that to see what happened there. Um, after you, of course, done watching this great video right here. So, there's Saturday Night. They cover, they look back at Saturday Night. Saturday Night was a fucking great match. Tonight was... Uh, Sunday Night was great, too. So was Saturday. I, I... As my first time watching WrestleMania, I am not... A, I am not disappointed. The class... Uh, then it was the class of 2021 being honored. I think I was making dinner at the time. And I think I was tripping, too. Because I heard Ozzy Osbourne is the... Hall of Famer, Celebrity Hall of Famer for the t class of 2021 in the WWE. I find that kind of crazy, but also kind of cool. Kane was in there. If you if you know who Kane, WWE Superstar Kane is, Kane was in there, so, so that was fun. Um, I know I was eating dinner during this match. It was Rhea Ripley versus Asuka, and holy fuck. I was eating a chicken sandwich. I remember that distinctly. But Rhea Ripley versus Asuka. Oh my god, doys. Doys. Boys and girls. Oh my god. Great match right there. That was just... Mm. It made me all happy in my tum-tum. Just like the sandwich made me happy in my tum-tum. The food was good. The, the match was good. The nap was good. Well, after the, after the food. Oh my god, it was great. So, Rhea Ripley defeated Asuka and became the uh, women's champion. Oh, <laughs> ah, congratulations to Rhea Ripley for winning that championship. And then we get to the holy shit moments of the night. Oh my god, it was Edge, it was Reigns, it was Daniel Bryan for the Universal Championship, a triple threat match. I have been looking forward to this all fucking weekend, boys. Oh, my God. Everyone was like, eh. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's a reason why the, that was at the that was the last match of, the, of, the, of all of WrestleMania. Because, holy shit. Ugh, excuse me. Holy shit. It worked out, boys. Basically, Reigns. So... Okay, so Daniel Bryan locked on his submit. Here's the key, the key fact you need to know. Daniel Bryan locked on his submission. Edge broke it up. 
Edge locked on his submission. Daniel broke it up. Edge and Daniel locked on their submissions on Reigns. Reigns somehow powered out of them. Reigns knocked down Daniel Bryan and Edge. And then hit them with chairs multiple times. And then gave them a concerto, for those that may not know. That's laying your opponent out on a chair and then hitting them with another chair. That was the match, in my opinion, the fucking match of, of, of all of WrestleMania was uh, Daniel Bryan, Edge, and Roman Reigns. Uh, uh, that match was WrestleMania. Thank God it ended when it did. But oh my God, great match, great everything. Mm. So Reigns defeated Bryan and Ed, Daniel Bryan and Edge. So Reigns is still your WWE Universal Champion, and he's still the biggest dick on the on the planet in a good way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of night two. That is, is a recap of WrestleMania night two a week a week late. Because I am a complete, because I am a shill. And I will, I, oh my god, thank you all for watching. You all have a wonderful evening and have a wonderful night. Ugh. Oh, if I'm not asleep before fucking 8 o'clock tonight, I might go live later around maybe 11 o'clock midnight. I don't know. I might go live and do something. Who knows? Good night, everybody.